Hello! I'm Andrew Shepard. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Owen Kari. This is the Andrew and Owen Technical Support Show at 2.30 in the morning on Channel 7. Yep. And today we are going to answer technical support questions off the internet. Our first question comes from Atlanta, Georgia. And it's how to cut a piece of wood properly. Today, I, I brought in my own skill saw from home. And I'm going to show you how to properly operate it under normal circumstances. So, Owen, how do you properly cut a board with a saw? Uh, the easiest way. First, I, remember, I remind you to always, always measure first. Oh, oops. Okay. All right. Andrew, show us how this is done. Let Here, me, let grab, me a grab a board. Let oh, me grab a board. Ahead. Okay. There's the board. Okay. Say you have a two by four, possibly you know eight to twelve feet is you know standard size for what you get from the lumber yard. This right here is probably about thirty. Let me show you how to properly use this. First of all. You don't need saw horses. Saw horses are a waste of money. Saw horses are a waste. Yes. If you want to get the best cut, the best, you know, everything. Bullshit! <laughs> you want to, excuse me, you want to place the board on your <laughs> saw. Okay. <laughs> the easiest way to cut it is turning it so that the saw blade is going directly into your thigh. That is the easiest way to make a straight cut. Now, if you follow the line appropriately, you will end up with a straight cut. Make get the point. <laughs> the one you want to use is the, the triangle cutout that says zero with a line behind it. You cut directly into that, going directly into the board, and sometimes into your leg. I mean, you go straight into the board. Okay? Into the board! You guys okay. get the point? And I that, do! <laughs> that would be the correct way to cut a board. Now we're going to move it on to Andrew Shepard, who is going to take you through the correct way to skip your driveway. Okay. Skipping your driveway is not only important for your neighbors, but it's important for you. Do you want to slip and fall? Maybe you do, but I don't. So, first thing, you want to get sturdy. Sturdy shovel. Oh, can't break it, right? You don't want it to break when you're scooping snow. You could easily poke out your eye. <coughs> Eyes are important. So, you want to grab back of the shovel, middle of the shovel firmly, as to not lose a grip, right? Because if you lose grip, you don't shovel snow. He uses that when he touches penises oh. with other guys. Forward. One more time. Okay. Sweep forward. <coughs> you want to shovel it off to the side, you retard. <coughs> After you get the shovel full of snow, you want to throw it to the side. What I'd like to do is to show you the way the pros do it. Okay? Not the way I do it, but the way the pros do it. You want to be a pro? You got it. Use your back as much as possible. Make a yanking, twisting way to scoop the snow oh! and throw it as hard as you can in the most awkward manner as possible. Now it works for the pros? Why wouldn't it work for you? Andrew. Yeah, um, our, uh, our question was about RCA receivers and how to uh, how to inject, or how do, uh, how do the inject and the uh, insert of CDs work? Owen, Owen, what do you think was the problem I, I do believe that what happened was, is that 19.8... Oh. <laughs> but Andrew, listen, I have another question right quick, okay? It's kind of important. Okay, 
Um, now, had he or she not closed the door, what would we do first? The, the first thing, okay, the first thing in troubleshooting is that, you know, it, and, and he really doesn't have all that much of a problem at all. He was just asking a standard question. <coughs> now, bullshit. What, ah! what we're going to do is answer a question, whereas if, uh, wrong, you know, he, <laughs> he may do, uh, you know, maybe have a problem. Now, okay, say, say if his problem were to be that his disc tray would not open properly. Okay. What would you recommend? There, Obviously, it's the photon changing I mean, sorry. switcher changer. If the photon sensor changer is locked, you need to find some polyethylene grease to spray in the inner coatings of the liner. Now, if the inner coatings of the liner look clear, I would suggest wiggling it. Well, in a back and forth sort of what? fashion. You know, it, it, and it all kind of depends on the mitochondriac wheel bearing, on, on whether it's spinning correctly in the right particular manner. Um, because if if you were to take the torque I adjustments, I forgot about that. Yeah, if you were to take the torque adjustments from the flux, then you would end up being, you know, way off. You know, perhaps 3.89 uh, rather than 3.84. Okay. Well, the APU hydraulic valve, which is found in the aft portion of the ceiling of the CD player initiating fire switch. If it were to stop moving, would that affect it? It, it, it could. You know, it, it, you know, it, it all comes down to the uh, to the uh, inner inner uh, inner copy hander uh, uh, capacitor down in the relay unit. Okay. You know, if, if that if, you know if that were to possibly uh, come out of play, then the uh, it, it, it would definitely throw off the uh, recalculating magnifying switch. Now, that switch located so close to the LCT actuating vertical shaft would that cause a problem with the APO generator? It, it it would. It would cause a buffer. A buffer in between the uh Oh 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 sir 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 Andrew Andrew you okay now if you make a couple tweaks to the left or right forwarding the cylinder it depends on in a how sort of counterclockwise way because if you do it counterclockwise it'd be 2.89 degrees 2.89 degrees to the counterclockwise yes and then 0.6 degrees longitudinal to the clockwise portion of the shaft. Okay. Well, you know, and you know, and that's that's one of the uh, one of the main internet questions we end up getting. Um, it, you know, it kind of depends on the product and uh, the uh, capacitor in which it is uh, infused with. Um, that the uh, the shield has not uh, undergone any kind of ceramic vector. Which means that uh, the uh, polarity by the moon is not uh, interfering with the uh, disc's magnifying capabilities. And the disc magnifying capabilities are hand in hand with the live longitudinal cyclic trim of the power transfer unit. Yes. And you know, and you cannot forget that. So you know, and to answer the internet question, if the internet, if the uh, you know how to open and close and put in a CD player, it is. By any chance, the eject buttons on yeah. the uh, CD player. That would probably be the right thing to push. <laughs> and you just got to close it afterwards. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, well, thank you very much. This is uh, Owen Kari. And this is Andrew Shepard. And it's been good. We love to help you guys out. Thank you. Thank you for enjoying Channel 7.